Welcome back to another RV walkthrough. My name's Taylor Quayle. Today we are looking at a 2003 National RV Trade Ones. This is a 391 LE model. Double slide, 330 cat. She's got about 88,000 miles on her. Let's take a quick peek at the uh, exterior here. I'll give you the four corners look, then we'll look at the compartments and we'll jump inside. This is located at, two, at Padata RV Center in Tucson, Arizona. It's on our lot here over on the south side. Now, this is a 2003, so you have a lot of manual things. All your awnings on the window awnings, I should say, are manual, and your manual awning over the passenger side and your door awning, all manual on this. For an 03 though, it is in great condition. I mean, you got a couple little chips and cracks on your decals like this, but overall, I mean, this is one of the cleaner coaches we've had. That's an older pusher in a while. Generator in here, it's a uh, own and Emerald Advantage. It is an LP Gen 6500. We'll double check the hours once we jump inside. Now, like I said, both of your door awning and your main awning are manuals. But I actually, I kind of prefer a manual. It is a little bit more of a pain to get out than pushing a button, but you have less to go wrong. All right, one thing I love about National, they got that raised rail chassis. Look at this storage, it's literally insane. So you got two full bay pass-throughs. This one in the middle is just massive. Plenty of areas to store lots of extension cords. <laughs> All right, I see a date code here, 4314. So they're coming up on seven years old on those Toyos. All your batteries. And there's a rear radiator coach. have a little air gauge right there since it is an air ride system and a backup camera let me jump up on the roof and show you that starting from the front you can see that big dome up there for your satellite to the right of that local tv antenna couple acs kitchen skylight bathroom skylight kitchen uh main galley skylight toilet skylight and that's about it overall i mean a little dirty but looks pretty good no ripples no little imperfections all right, passenger side compartments. This one isn't one, it's really to get access to that jack and wiring. Back of the furnace right there. Your dump station, gray and black. Outdoor shower. It's like it's got a couple low point drains, even a little soap dispenser. Now here's the other side of those pass-through storages. You can see there is a hole right there for your power cord to run that through so you don't have to keep your compartment open. Absolutely massive. Guys, don't ever get in the doghouse. You'll be sleeping down here. Look at the size of that propane tank. A little bit bigger propane tank because it does have the propane gin, but absolutely massive. And finally, last but not least, your electrical compartment. You'll probably never deal with anything in here unless you're a technician. Right, so what I'm gonna do really quick, let me get all the compartments shut and then we'll look at the interior. All right, right before we head in, one thing I didn't point out, your main awning right here and all your window awnings do have metal covers, especially in Arizona, that's a big plus. That cloth gets pretty torn apart from all the sun. All right, so going in, we got two steps that come out and then a few other going up. Right when you walk into your left, you do have some light controls, battery disconnect, step control, things like that. Shut this door behind me. Here's your first view of the coach. I'll give you a look from the uh, hallway right there too. And we will look, of course, at the bedroom and bathroom here in a second. But first thing I want to go over is this front cab area. So up above, a little bit of storage, old style RCA tube TV, of course. And then you got a couple small compartments, nothing too crazy, but check this out. Look at that, that's phenomenal. Good old VHS for the old Disney DVD or Disney VHSs. If you have any interest in looking over these numbers, you're welcome to pause. 
right, and then one last storage up there. Starting on the driver's side here, on the left, leveling jacks, your Allison transmission, got generator. The gen has 665 hours on it. And then it has a couple air gauges, fuel gauge, battery gauge. Looks like they did upgrade the uh, CD deck in here. Overhead fans and your backup camera. It is black and white, so it is kind of hard. You can kind of adjust the contrast and brightness to try to get it a little bit better looking, but to really make it look a little bit better, I think you need to upgrade it to a color. Nothing too crazy up front on the cab. Like I said, 330 cat is on a Spartan chassis, so air ride, air brakes, of course. Now, one thing I love, it is starting to see a little bit of wear on the on the on where the thighs go. But look at the width of this seat. It is phenomenal. Especially comparatively speaking to the driver's seat. Nowhere near as wide. So, very comfortable. No leg rest, but there is a step extension that comes out. And, of course, both these front seats do turn around. So, you can use them as a conversation piece. Now, your slide on the driver's side goes from this corner all the way down to about right there look at that crown molding inside of this slide you have a three cushion couch emergency exit window some storage above and of course your kitchen now the three cushion couch is a sleeper you can see you just lift this up pull it out and there's a little drawer right there too that comes out very little not a standard size drawer maybe good for a couple blankets and storage up above the couch is connected and kitchen, lots of counter space. I love the angular kind of look of the kitchen. And it does have a little ledge, so nothing will slide off until you're turning hard left. Now down below, I'm not a big fan of the carpeted under the sink, but that's how the older ones were. Your sink, nice inlaid sink, left side there. And of course, the right side it does have a sprayer and purified water right above the sink storage the brochure there metal blinds here light above and then you have your convection microwave because there is no oven now this is a false panel to get to the power outlet but then you have like i said pretty good amount of counter space and it gives you the corian tops for the stove top so you can use that as counter space too what is that a little Small little drawer, three of these, decent size. And then you got three of those, and then right above is just one little baby guy. All right. Now on the passenger side, starting right behind this super wide chair, both those overhead storages are connected. Both those overhead storages are connected. Now this is a little custom. He did install, or the previous owner did install a separate ice maker. And this initially was just this piece here. Lift this up, pull that out, got yourself a little desk. You can still use them both at the same time, um, but a little bit of a custom job there. Nice little, nice little recliner chair. Actually, a little dirty, gotta clean up the armrest, but overall, same kind of concept as the front seats, pretty good condition overall. Four table dinette, doesn't move in, doesn't expand, nothing crazy like that, but it does give you four chairs all the time we're selling this coach for 50 grand there's some of the specs i kind of already went over your actual floor plan you probably won't be able to see some of these highlighted features so if you want to get a copy of them just shoot me an email or a text in the info down below and i'll get it to you to the right of your dinette we have your side-by-side -side fridge now, this is a dometic and i was wondering it does have an ice maker so he must, previous owner must have been a drinker. Got to have their ice for their bourbon. This is a three-way fridge also. All right, and that is the galley. Now it's time for the bathroom, bedroom, all that good stuff. Before we get into the bathroom, to the right, you got your main control panel. Inverter controls, slide controls, fantastic van, thermostat, carbon monoxide test, and then your level tester. That looks like I got it fixed. <laughs> Right to the left of us is your bathroom. To the right, we got your vanity and your shower. A few drawers in this vanity. Store your makeup. Hair dryer. Toothpaste. Showers up. It does have a step up, but they call it a tub. <laughs> I mean, 
If you're small enough to fit in there, good for you. Probably got about a 14, 16 inch step up into the shower. It does technically have a little seat area or an area to wash your legs, but a pretty decent sized shower. I do wish the pan was a little bit bigger overall to take advantage of all the space, but there's a reason I don't, I'm not the manufacturer. All right, and then right in front of that, this mirrored door is gonna be your bathroom. And that is a china toilet on the ground. Plenty of room above. There's no vanity, nothing else in here besides the toilet and a little bit of storage and right above you. Gotta have a vent in the toilet. Oh, you know what I just noticed though? That's interesting. The door has the same wallpaper as the bathroom. A little different. All right, to the right of that, above some shelving and some light reading material here. But then below, you've got your combo splendid washer dryer. Better than nothing, not as efficient as your home unit. Looks like they never used it. <laughs> My gosh. All right. And then last but not least, we do have your bedroom. You do have two separating doors here that will meet in the middle if you want to give yourself just the master bedroom. No suite. Lots of drawers and cabinets in front. Full wardrobe in the back. And then a couple more draw, uh, uh, drawers left and right of the bed because your slide is this kind of blue material there. Bed is a queen bed, a couple drawers, a couple side tables. There should be power, there it is, power down below down there. And then same concept on the other side, no overhead storage in this area. Your two drawers. Your actual engine, of course, is right under us. That's how you access it. Now your wardrobe, it's a decent size. A little dark over there, but you can see on both the left and the right side, there is a couple little areas for pants, shorts, shoes, whatever. All right, now let me try to back up here. I say last but not least, a little TV up there, probably should be upgraded to a HD. And then some more storage areas. Coach does have a good amount of storage for clothes and just random things. Like I said, you can put a piece of wood there, put a flat screen there, maybe even a 32 inch. A couple storages above. It does have a clothes hamper. Three more drawers. And these are about the same depth as these right next to it, just a little bit wider. And then an additional wardrobe. You can remove those shelves right there if you wanted to, to give you a additional taller wardrobe. All right, and that was a quick walkthrough. Now, last but not least, like I always do, I'm going to put all the slides in, give you a look from the interior with the slides in, see how accessible it is, and of course, make you look from the outside too. I'll be right back. Starting in the rear bedroom, as you can see, that bed does pull right up uh, to all those drawers, but you're both your wardrobes, shelving, and your closet from the left side at least, fully accessible. Come in here, take a nap, come in here, take a shower, go to the bathroom, do some laundry, all easily able to be done. Now this is walking through the area. This is part of the slide that came in, but still plenty of walkway. Don't even have to sidestep it. I'll give you one more peek from the front, all looking down. Now let me jump outside and show you that and we'll be just about done with this walkthrough. May look a little bit different just cause all the compartments are shut, but there is no slides on the passenger side. There's a quick peek. Now on the driver's side, where it should look a little bit different. Now, like I said, this coach is currently for sale here at Padata RV Center in Tucson, Arizona. My name's Taylor. You're welcome to reach out to me if you have any questions. All my contact info will be in the description down below, including a link to our website to get more specifications on this coach. If you are interested in that brochure that I had that you probably couldn't see on the video, email me, I will shoot you a copy of it. But besides that, thank you so much for viewing my video of our 2003 National RV Tradewinds 391 LE. I hope everyone has a great day.